welcome back to Crafting with KB. How are you all doing? Are you all having a good time? It's Monday the 8th of March here in the UK as I'm editing this video and the kids go back to school today. So it feels like some sort of normality is occurring in the UK, which is very exciting. Okay, so here we go. I'm creating some more beautiful resin, my new hobby. Um, so part A and part B, B, I am putting into my jug, wearing the full PPE, PPE? Yep, <laughs> get up, which you must do if you're going to start doing any projects with resin. So, yep, look at that, how satisfying is that? Just pouring that in, glug, 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 glug. So we're pouring those in, I weigh them out. You can actually just measure them to the point in the jug, but I also like to weigh them as well, because um, I like to be accurate. And then you just gently, um, I have sped up this video, so that looks a little bit fast, but you gently just um, mix the two components together. Sellotape tape to remove any dust from my moulds and then look at these beautiful blue flowers these are fresh pressed flowers that I got from Amazon and that's what I'm going to be using today it's so pretty I also went for some cheeky little cute butterfly embellishments which I got from the range in the UK I'm sure you can get these online as well and yep I stuck those into my mold. So first of all, I'm just going to place everything in and make sure that I like the position of the flowers. Um, you have to be quite delicate because they do break off. My butterflies are foil, um, so they will be fine with the resin mixture. And um, one thing that I did learn from this process, because you know I'm learning, it's the first time that I'm using resin. What I sh you probably I've left the volume on here and you can slightly hear Gizmo snoring in the background. <laughs> he was under my feet as I was videoing this. Can you hear him? <laughs> That's Gizmo. Shout out to Gizmo. Um, so one thing that I did realise once I was demolding, which you'll see if you stay on for this video, is I could actually feel the butterflies. So next time when I do this, I'm going to pour resin, a tiny amount of resin on the bottom. I'm gonna let that set for maybe an hour and then I'll come back and put in the butterfly and the flowers. It didn't really matter with the flowers, but it did the butterfly because you could feel the underneath because obviously the resin didn't get underneath it. But look how pretty, working with these materials is so satisfying. It's just so cute. I mean, you can go as what? Oh, whoopsie! You could go as wild as you want. You could be as creative. You could add in glitter. As it was my first time, I thought I'd just keep it safe. And then you'll see in a minute to actually move these flowers around again because that's what it's all about. Just you know, playing around, seeing what colours go with what, how you want the design to look so nice so good all of these um elements even the uh molds i got off of amazon as well everything is from amazon because it's just so easy isn't it especially where we're in lockdown and i can't get to hobby craft this is where i have been going to and that mat as well that you can see the pink mat amazon courtesy of jp the hubster keeping me uh, in all my materials Okay, so now moving on to the next step then. So I've zoomed in for you. So we're starting to put the resin in place. I'm pouring it mainly over the raised items. So the flowers, first of all, making sure I get it into all the grooves. Um, yeah, just if you pour slowly, again, I have sped up this video, so that's why it looks really fast, but pour slowly. Um, and the recommendation is you'll get less bubbles by pouring slowly and use a plastic lollipop stick not the brown the wooden ones because i <clears throat> some videos have said the wooden ones hold um bacteria and therefore that can produce bubbles as well unless you do keep the resin on the lollipop sticks and then that prevents anything seeping out of the wood uh, you saw me using a flame i've gone back to using my flame <laughs> oh dear 
gone back to using the flame only because I've not put any alcohol in here. So some lovely people commented on my last videos and said it's because you use your alcohol inks. That's why using a flame it would set them on fire. <laughs> Which I sort of guessed, didn't I, when I was talking previously before. But you know. Oh, look at this big butterfly this time nice big bejeweled butterfly yeah this is me just trying to figure out like what side you'd see the butterfly best because these generally isn't the top this is the bottom and then the bottom is the top you get me so it was a case of which way should I put the butterfly but you'll see when I demold that actually the butterflies look pretty cool either way so it didn't really matter it's pretty cute either way and yeah just messing around having a bit of those leafy things looked too leafy for me they didn't have enough flower heads on them so I wasn't that mm, enamored with them at the time I was like no I need more flowers going in these they need to be popping look at the little baby one it's so cute the flowers I think on Amazon were like 20 pound for a pack of Sorry. so you get blue yellow and pink and the resin itself I think JP pays 20 something odd pound for that as well and I would imagine you probably get I do I'm doing sets of three coasters but you probably get five sets of three maybe coasters I have to uh, test it out and I've just started selling on eBay as well. I was going to have an Etsy account and people said about Shopify. But JP's been selling things because we're doing a Florida fund. So we've been setting up um, our eBay for some of his items that he's selling. Uh, Warhammer. So um, we've been adding these on eBay. So if you're interested in any of the products I um, make, I will leave a link below to our eBay account. You can pop over there and go and have a little look if you want to buy anything. I've also put in my reed diffusers on there as well for the room because they are just beautiful. Um, yeah, just trying to uh, save for Florida really. I think that leads on to a nice video that I might do another time as well is how we save and how we afford Florida and um, packing for Florida because we have got a trip booked for the 3rd of July which we're really excited about and as of today I think it's 118 days if it goes ahead Ooh. hope so I think we all need a break don't we we all need breaks after uh, what we've all been through okay so um, on to my third the third and last coaster um, keeping with the same theme with the beautiful blues and the butterflies and the embellishments that came with the butterflies they are so pretty and uh, I did the first one with the resin because I just wanted to make sure the flowers didn't sing um, didn't float they actually sunk because that is another thing that I notice with when you're using dried flowers as well they rise to the top they float so you have to, for about an hour, keep an eye on them and keep pushing them down. You'll see me doing that a few times. If anyone's got any comments or any questions, leave them down below. If you're liking what you see, again, give me some commentary. There you go. See me just pushing them down a little bit because they do float up. So, um, yeah, you just need to press them down because otherwise what will happen? When they set, you'll fill them on top of the coaster, which isn't a bad thing, but then you'd probably need to put another top, top coat of resin just to make it nice and smooth. Um, you want it to be fully immersed. My nice white glove there. <laughs> I just think this looks so pretty. I was tempted to put some um, inks in here as well, but I restrained myself and went, no, no, leave them. As they are, I was thought I was going to put some sparkles in here, but I think they just look pretty as they are. It's a cool hobby to get into. I would definitely recommend it to anyone. Um, you can make some amazing products out of the materials. 
Mm, JP's having a meeting. Let me shut my door up. He started his working day, guys. It's Monday. Oh, here we go. Flaming some more. I just really can't wait until we can just start going out a bit more. Even if it's in the UK, we're going to plan to go to Legoland and we're going to go to some couple of wildlife parks just to get out, just to go and see some life. Buy a lollipop, buy some ice creams. <laughs> there you go, I'm trying to burst some of the bubbles. And the flame, that's exactly what the flame does, it bursts the bubbles. Okay, so they're all done and they looked beautiful. So I'm going to let them set now. And I have spare resin, so, so babies, I'm going to use some glitter because that's what I said, I just was so tempted to use glitter on those flowers but kept it simple. So I've got my lovely Mickey Mouse little trinket bowl here, so I've got my spare resin, that's the problem is you can never measure out enough resin, I could have probably topped them up a little bit more of the coasters but you don't want to overfill. So with the spare resin I'm actually now going to make my Mickey trinket. So I've decided to go for the blue. Look how sparkly the blue is. So sparkly, so pretty. Oh, as I'm sitting here playing with my little Mickey Mouse earrings. Okay, if you've got any recommendations on what colour I should use next time, leave comments below. What's your favourite colour? Is it plain silver? Do you want the orangey? <laughs> the red? Reggie? <laughs> red? Let me know. So gently stirring that in. Oh, I shall pretty. And then we're going to pour that into the trinket bowl. Hopefully you all saw my video where I changed my room around. And if you didn't, I'll leave a link to it for you because it's so cool. So as I'm editing this video, I've got the lovely view outside the window. Well, it's not that lovely, but it's better than a wall with my uh, all my manifestation items on it, which is still good, but it's just nice to look outside and see the birds and people walking past. I'm a right nosy neighbour. One of those curtain flitches, curtain twitches, <laughs> flitches. I'm a curtain twitcher. Do you guys all know what a curtain twitcher is? Yeah, that's me. Why not? Yes. Right, so there we go. That's the mould all completely filled. Looking pretty. Okay, so I've still got resin left. I know, it's ever going on forever and ever and ever. So the Mickey bar keychains and the ear um, chains as well and the little heart I'm going to make. And these came out so well. This was such a good colour to choose. It was really pretty. Um, I left them on the side in here and JP popped by a couple of days later. He was like, oh, your blue keychains are really pretty. <laughs> I was like, I know. I was going with the blue theme to keep with the blue flowers of the uh, coasters. These are quite little tricky little moulds to make sure you get your resin into because you don't want to overfill them and you have to meticulously just gently dab them i'm just showing you with my finger here now as well can you see <laughs> you'd have to just dab the solution into all the little nooks and crannies oh i'm coming out with all the analogies today yeah so you have to just like put them in there and also my resin was starting to get gloopy because it the coasters took quite a while um to perfect so yeah it was getting a little bit gloopy um it's those little bits, see the little tiny ear parts down there, the strands, whatever they're called, That's they were quite tricky to do. Because you don't want to get too much resin on top because then you have to file. And when you file resin, it makes it no longer glossy and see-through. Um, and then to get the see-through and it looking pure again, you have to add res resin. So you just want to take it gently and do everything 
step by step and not rush it. It's not one of those projects that you can rush. Okay, let's unmold. So exciting. Yeah, I could feel a little bit of the flower um, on there. It popped back up, even though I kept popping it down, it popped up. But look, I even put blue nail varnish on just for the occasion. <laughs> I'm matchy matchy. So, this is so satisfying. Or not, depending on how the creation comes out, because it could be like, oh no two days later yeah so did you see there that was a little bit sticky on the butterfly look how beautiful they look again if you want to buy these guys I've popped them on my eBay account pop over and have a little looky but they're so pretty I love these so good thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget give a massive juicy big thumbs up give it a like give me some comments below and share me out and I'll catch you on the next video friends bye